to talk about flux and mining flux because the price has gone really crazy. Um, I'm just going to pull up a good old flux mine. And we're going to be using um, some 3060s uh, LHR. We'll do just keep profitability 24 hours, 11 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So right now, when you look at profitability for 24 hours, uh, Ergo's up at the top and Ethereum flux. But when we look at the last seven days, calculate flux is now on top, and then Ethereum, Ergo's down here, Raven coin, way down here as well. And it's not even by like a little bit, like 285 revenue, 254 profit, up to 367 profit, 404 revenue. It's crazy. So we need to mine it. We need to get it set up so that we're mining it um, on a couple 3060s so that we can get uh, some, some decent flux built up uh, in the wallet. Uh, I, I'll probably hodl the flux for now um, and not sell any of it, so we'll just see how much we can get. But first, first we're going to need to get our pool, get our address set up, um, and then we can set up the, the program to start mining. So first off, we're going to get our wallet. Now, Flux on their website, which is uh, runonflux.io, they have Zellcore. Zellcore is a project with Flux. Um, really cool. Um, it, it's, a, it's a cool exchange. You can exchange different coins uh, inside mobile or desktop. Personally, the mobile version isn't my favorite. The desktop is pretty decent, um, but I'm, I'm not really a fan of the mobile one. So the problem is that there's not very many exchanges or, or wallets that have Flux that are, you know, easy to use. So Zellcore is the main one. Um, the second one is Trust Wallet, which you can get on mobile. Um, and we're probably going to use Trust Wallet over Zellcore just for the mobile experience. I, I like to check everything on my phone. Um, so big fan of that. So we're going to use Trust Wallet and, and again, put the flux there instead of in Zellcore. Even though Zellcore is super popular with flux, everybody talks about it, all the YouTube videos. Uh, discussing Flux, have the Zellcore wallet 99% of the time. So it is really good. I just personally think the mobile version is it's kind of clunky. It's it's slow for me to load. To be honest, I don't know what the deal is. I, I have a newer iPhone. I don't know what it is, um, but it's just slow um, in my opinion. So we're going to go with Trust Wallet. Now we need to get our pool. Come over here to the mining pool stats. We'll type in flux. And let's see. Minerpool.org is currently on top uh, with 472 kilosols. So instead of it, it's not in, uh, in mega hash just because the size of the um, coin and the network difficulty, it's nowhere near like what. Ethereum is, um, or, or Bitcoin or anything, so, you know, it's in, in kilosols, so 472 on minerpool.org, flux, fluxpools.net is another popular one, 277, then two miners. Two miners, they have a lot of different things you can mine. Um, the issue is that they're in Germany, and beforehand, I pinged all of these servers to figure out which uh, latency was the best. Minerpool.org had the lowest. Um, it still wasn't the greatest, I would say. Like it was still kind of high, 
but it was the lowest between these top few. So we're going to go with minorpool.org. So we'll just come over here to minorpool. And one of the main reasons why Flux is so profitable is because of their parallel assets. And what they do there is instead of just mining Flux, at the same time while mining Flux, you're also mining the Flux of other coins like they have ETH, they have Solana, they have, um, I don't even know what all of them are, but there's, there's like five. There's like five, of, five parallel assets that they have that not very many of the pools do parallel assets, but mining pool does. And so that's why it's, you're able to make so much with Flux now at the current moment. I mean, things could change based on prices and, and crypto is, is crazy, but um, because of these parallel assets, you mine flux and then you get extra flux from the parallel assets and then they also have loyalty where the longer and more that you mine to the pool they just kind of give you extra flux uh, which is pretty cool so go ahead and start mining and we're going to see kind of the overall pool stats here um, you'll come here to check and see how your mining is doing on your own wallet, um, but this is for the pool as a whole. Um, now we're, we're going to need a couple things. We're not going to be downloading any mining software because we're going to be using uh, Minerstat, um, kind of the competitor with uh, IvoS. So we'll go ahead and click next so that we can get our correct address. So they have na.minerpool.org. But two different ports, 2032 and 2033. I'm going to kind of give you some, some details. Single GPUs or rigs below 50 souls. Um, 1070 Ti, fixed difference for 96. Not sure what that means. Uh, common GPUs or rigs, small farms, MRR, good for most miners. Um, it's a variable difference. I'll get into what it is. So we're probably going to go with port 2033, is what we're going to do. Um, and then the, the mining, the, if you wanted to download the miner, let's say you were Windows mining, you would then download G Miner, Mini Z Miner, or LOL Miner. I've seen a lot of people using G Miner and Mini Z Miner. Um, I haven't tested any of them, uh, to be honest. So it's, it's a hard gamble there. G Miner versus Mini Z Miner. I've heard a lot of people say Mini Z Miner has had more stability. Um, in adding in overclocks for the GPUs, um, but we might just have to test that and see. So, G minor or mini Z minor, one of the two. So, we're going to need our minorpool.org. And then, actually, can we just copy all of that? Then? And we'll come over here to minor stack. And we're going to go to our address editor. And we're going to, you know, you see, I was already kind of setting it up. So type in flux. Um, I like to add in what pool it is, like all of these are on Ethermine. Um, so flux minor pool, and then a.minorpool.org 2033. We'll come over to our wallet. We'll also type in flux, which I already did it down here, flux, and then the wallet address, whether you're using Zellcore or Trust Wallet or one, some other, I don't know what other wallets have flux, but those are the two main ones that I know of. So, Get our wallet, get our pool, and then we're going to come to our configured template. We're going to start a new template. We're going to name it Flux. And we're going to do actually, so we don't know yet what we're going to use. So let's go we'll type in Flux here. We're going to do, oh, they have G minor AMD and G minor NVIDIA. That's cool. So let's do Mini Z. Going to do our flex pool and the flex wallet. Just make sure. Flex wallet, password, flex. And then we're going to name this flex mini z dash um, minor pool. We're not going to add any overclock tune profiles because I want to see how it does first, just stock um, 
to be honest, I don't know what overclocks to use for flux. So that's going to be a guessing game, just testing things out until we get what we like the most. Um, but yeah, so we'll save our template. And then we're going to come over here to our workers. And we're going to be using two 3060s that I currently have split mine in Ethan Raven. And we're going to come up here to switch and do flux, mini Z minor three. So we're going to let that initiate. And I'll be back here once that's up and running. All right, and we're back. Let's go ahead and refresh. We are up and mining. Flux, mini Z up times 56 seconds. Speed we're getting currently 68.58. Um, we have got a share, 100% efficiency right now. Um, here's the two 3060s. Each one 34.15, 33.99. They're both both of these cards are LHR version twos. Um, they're both uh, Samsung memory uh, DDR6. Um, a little bit different of the BIOS though. But they're roughly the same card. So uh, one of them is a three fan, the other one's a two fan. So there's just some slight differences there. Let's refresh one more time. That's where we're sitting. So we're sitting at 33.19, 34.26, 101 watts on each card. Um, I do have a watt meter at the wall. I'm um, not going to show that at the moment, but. It's more than this, um, so like these are lower than what it actually is. Currently seeing 50 on a temp, 45 on a temp. We, that's pretty much where we've been ranging, even with uh, split mining Ethan Raven. Uh, fans, we got them 80%. Uh, Let's see, there's no. Oh, so there is. These, I'm not sure where the clock tune profile came from, but. We're currently, I guess we do have some overclocks in place instead of being stopped. So let's take out our power limit. Let's take out our M clock. Keep our fans at 80, click apply. Let's see where we're at, just stop. So be back once that is updated. All right, and we're back. Let's refresh one more time. Looks like we are hovering around the same spot, 68 total, 34, 34.18. Uh, still 101 on the power, uh, 50.46. Interesting. So whatever clock profile was in there made them do a little worse. So now let's go ahead and throw on some overclocks. I'm not really sure to do it all, so let's do, we'll be back once that's done. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mess around with the overclocks, uh, maybe do some Googling, uh, seeing what other people are doing, um, and we'll be back once, once that's done, and I'll show you the end result. All right, and we're back. Let's go ahead and refresh one more time. So it looks like we... <clears throat> we're able to get 40.5 and 41.8. We are at 169 watts in the software, um, so it's going to be higher than that. I'm not sure how much of a big deal that's going to be, um, so we might tweak the overclock settings sometime, maybe. Um, our temps are set at 66, which isn't terrible. Um, I also don't have the best air circulation where the rigs are, so um, that's why we got 80% 80, 80 uh, fan. Might bump that up 85 or 90 or something, looks like C. Not sure what happened there, but we will uh, refresh. Seems like we might still be climbing, but uh, to show you the overclock settings that I was using, I put the power limit to 125, 450, memory 1500 and then fans at 80 percent um, 
if you have 3060 LHR version 2s and you mind flux, I would be very interested to know what overclocks you use just because obviously I have no idea. I'm just kind of testing it out. Uh, this is what I figured out would work to get a decent, decent uh, hash rate on each card. I'm even though our watts are a little high, sitting total at 82.64. Um, we're going to let this run for uh, the next little while. I'm not sure how long yet, but we want to test this out. But what we'll want to do um, to check how we're doing at the pool is we're going to come here to our address editor, get our wallet address for flux that and we're going to come over here to myopool.org and we're going to put our wallet in. All right and once you get your wallet in there now you can see kind of how you're doing uh, your current average hash rate uh, where we're sitting at um, showing our I mean obviously like you have to give this a couple hours to even update before it's that accurate anyways. So we're gonna let it run for a while. I'll check back in sometime in the future, do an update. But currently we're sitting at 60, 96 on five minute. Um, got a couple shares. Pending balance, it shows that there's a little bit pending. I was testing this out earlier just to, to make sure that I had everything set up correctly before I recorded. So, um, but info balance, this is about the loyalty program, um, parallel assets, once you receive them, um, and then you're able to see your actual payments for Flux, your parallel asset payments, um, and then the information about uh, blocks found. So, that is Flux, mining Flux, we're now currently mining, so we're gonna have an update at some point, not sure when, but yeah, that'll do it.